Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. My name is Mr. E.T. and in today's vlog we have a fresh new part to install from Unitronic, so stay tuned. As I was telling you guys in my last vlog, I purchased a few parts during the holiday season and one of those parts is a turbo inlet elbow from Unitronic. So the goal of the vlog today is to give you a quick review of what I feel is the fit and finish, the installation, as well as how this performs. And why did I go with the Unitronic piece versus any other pieces out there? Uh, one, I have their intake, so I thought this was gonna match up well with it. It is a Canadian-based company, and I wanted to encourage a local company. And also, the quality, the fit and finish, of this piece is excellent and I want to put some quality parts on my Mark 7 GTI so I thought I would install this. For anybody doing this install you're gonna need a few different tools. So first thing you want to do is go on Unitronics website and print their installation instructions. They're quite simple they tell you everything you need to get this done and they also let you know what tools you're gonna to need. So you want to make sure you have, of course, your elbow. You're going to have a 3 8 with a T30 Torx. You're going to have a 7 mil on here uh, or a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to have a needle nose uh, plier there to remove the intake. So the first step to this is, of course, to remove your intake. Now, I've done a video on the Unitronic intake install and I'm gonna link that in the description if you wanna check it out. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to remove that in this uh, installation, and I'm just gonna show you the parts after that. This is a pretty easy install. Now that the intake has been removed, this is held on by one bolt, and before you actually remove that, you need to remove your PCV over here, and I don't know if you guys can see, but mine seems to be leaking. So I'm going to have to look at that a little bit here, but this is just pressure fed, so you just pull it out, you remove the T30 that is over here, and then you can slide this back a little bit, wiggle, and remove. So let's do that. Now that this is uninstalled, before doing anything else, I decided to inspect the part. So as you can see hopefully on here, there's quite a bit of oil on this thing and inside. So there's a little bit of blow bile and that's probably why we had some oil pooling there. Um, so that's not so great, but the turbo has like 20,000 kilometers on this, so I'm pretty sure that's fine. And this is just oil recirculating from the PCV system. Uh, an oil catch can, um, you've probably seen a lot of people talking about that, is probably a good idea on one of these cars to avoid doing this and recirculating oil through your turbo. Now that this is removed, and I am not kidding here, this took me five minutes to remove the intake and then five minutes to remove this. So very, very easy install. You can see there's a substantial difference in size. So this is quite reduced and this is actually going all the way out here so the flow to the turbo from the intake should be much much better and as you can see everything is plastic over here and this is cast aluminum so this is much higher quality overall the next step we have to do is remove the o-ring that's on here and just install it on the back of this piece over here so let's do that and then we'll be able to reinstall So installation here is the opposite, of course, of removal. So we'll just go in here, we'll install this that way, and then basically clock it, and then we'll be able to reinstall the bolt, the 30 mil, and then reinstall the PCV that's at the top here. So let's do that. And 
there we go. Really, this is it. So we have retightened the bolt that's at the back there. We have reinstalled this. This is actually all the way in, went in quite easily. So all we have to do now is reinstall the Unitronic intake and we can take this for a test drive. So as you can see guys, everything is reinstalled. So let's turn on the car and see if there's an audible difference. As you can see, I've switched now inside the car and the goal is to take this for a little test drive and see if I can feel anything on the butt dyno. So as with any other install of this nature, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the car is warmed up. You don't want to be beating on the engine or anything like that with the car really, really cold. So just even getting on the main road, it feels to me like the car is slightly more responsive we're feeding more air to the turbo because the turbo inlet is bigger so I would expect this to be about equal or even a little bit laggier than stock just because there's more air volume but perhaps there's so much of a restriction on the stock piece that just the air getting to the turbo makes it feel like it's it's a bit more responsive that's the only thing I can uh, I can see right now it doesn't feel any louder. Drivability is not affected negatively. I don't have a check engine light or any of the other lights on. This is a very, very simple install, so we didn't really change out that much on the car. So we're just about halfway on the temperature gauge. So we'll be able to get, and we're just about getting to the highway here. So we'll be able to get on this a little bit more and see if this makes a difference. Very, very easy install. 
So as long as you have the right tools to do this, and you really just do need that T30 Torx, uh, aside from that, very easy to do. So, and if you're interested in a turbo inlet, do uh, check out the Unitronic piece. It is an excellent piece. So this has been Mystery T with another one of these installs. I hope you enjoy these types of videos. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if you have any comments, any questions about this part or anything else I've installed on my Mark 7 GTI, please do not hesitate to use the comment section. I will see you again for another install in just a little bit. Stay tuned.